What is going on guys? My name is Jerry Myers and today's video is about to be very, very exciting guys. So I don't really get excited for a lot of AEW pay-per-views, but tonight I am actually super excited. We got, dude, we got some pretty lit matches. We also got an exploding barbed wire death match. And not only that, we're going to be getting a very huge mystery surprise. Return, debut, not a return, a debut. Basically Big Show or Paul White guaranteed something huge tonight so i'm guys i'm super excited i want to know what you guys think but today's video we're gonna go over and talk about five superstars who i think it could be right and you know some of them i feel like aren't gonna happen but i guarantee one of the five will happen and if i can find a way to watch this i will have my live reaction up I'll, or i'll even talk about it just so you guys can see what my opinions are but guys today i'm gonna give you five superstars who i think and a bonus superstar but without further ado, let's hop right into this video, and uh, yeah, let's do it. And I want to know what your guys' uh, five people are down in the comments. I got Fluffy right here, too. And at number five, guys, these aren't ranked uh, top to, you know, you know, most likely to not most likely. They're just five people. Number five is going to be Brock Lesnar. Now, a lot of people are speculating Brock Lesnar going to AEW. I don't actually think it could happen, but it is a person who could happen. The reason I don't see it happening, though, is... Because he lives in Canada, and with the whole pandemic, they, he isn't allowed to uh, get across the border, which is also why he won't be at WrestleMania this year. But never say never in pro wrestling like Fluffy is thinking up there. And we could see a potential Brock Lesnar. Coming in at number four, I think it could be Christian Cage. Now, I don't want to see it. My best friend Patrick doesn't want to see it. Uh, it's a hit or miss type of situation. You know, you never know. Um, he is cleared. One reason why me and Patrick are scared, though, is because if you remember the Sammy Guevara and Matt Hardy match where uh, Matt Hardy smacked his head on the concrete and AEW kept the match going, we fear that if Christian is ever put in that position, they're going to continue him wrestling and could end really badly. You know, concussions is not a joke to be... Uh, it's not serious. I mean, ugh, should be taken very seriously, and it's not a joke, you know? So um, I just think WWE would probably be the safest... None of them are safe, but the safest place for him to wrestle because he'll, he'll just will be taken care of. And we get to see Edge and Christian. I just, I hope it doesn't happen, but it is something likely. Now, the next one, guys, is one that I honestly think is what it probably will be. And I actually have two bonus people, but I honestly think it could be RVD. Yes, I think, it, I honestly think it will be RVD. Reason being is because I just think his career isn't done. He said he wants to keep doing more. It seems like, honestly, the most likable one. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer in WWE because Big Show said it is a Hall of Fame-worthy person, hopefully implying that they aren't in Hall of Fame. And I just think it would be just really cool to see RVD in there. I think that's probably the most likely one. There is number one that I most likely will be. But yeah, I feel like he is the most likely person. And bro, how cool would that be? Honestly, so when he came back to WWE in 2013, I was hoping for like him to win Money in the Bank, him to win the Spinner Belt again. I kind of want to see Cena and RVD at SummerSlam, but we got Cena and Bryan. But yeah, man. And then we got RVD and Alberto Del Rio for the world title at Battlegrounds in St. Louis, Missouri. And that hardcore match, I was there. And I was like, dang, dude, I felt like RVD should have won the world heavyweight title. That would have been, it was just such a perfect time. But he's kind of a little slow now, but um, hopefully he can pick it back up and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go into the spicy ones. Ready? Number two, I think it could probably not be CM Punk because, guys, CM Punk said he's open to coming back to WWE. Now, the thing is, will he be at AEW? I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll have to wait and see. I don't think it's not, he says it's not true, but CM Punk will always say it's not true no matter what. Um, you always just got to speculate that CM Punk may or may not be there, but uh, most likely won't be there. But if he is there, we're all marking out. Uh, I think the right place for him to return would be WrestleMania, I mean WWE, because you could have matches with Roman, Rollins. I just would be like, it would be right, you know, he, he's back home, you know, so I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah, CM Punk would be really cool. I, I just... It's a hit or miss type of thing with CM Punk. You never really know. And it's a never say never, like he says. He said that he will be, he will return back to pro wrestling if they come to him. He's not going to them. Coming in at number one, that will be the most likely. We also got two bonus people, so hold on. Coming in at number one, we got Kurt Angle. Now, the reason I say Kurt Angle, and I, I think it's dumb because of his neck problems, and that's why he retired from WWE, but it's because he had videos of him putting on the, uh, his ring gear saying to be continued. So a lot of people are speculating Kurt Angle. Uh, man, you know, I think it'd be cool for him to be in the AEW, though. You know, he could have matches with Sammy Guevara, Chris Jericho, 
uh, Kenny Omega uh, win one more world title. But I also don't want to see him in it because of the neck issues. I also don't want to see him in it because I AEW is picking up a lot of old people. And they're kind of turning into a TNA WCW 2.0. I don't want to see that. I thought they were all about the new guys. So we'll see about that one. And um, yeah, so I honestly probably think it's going to be Kurt Angle. So two people is either going to, well, three people is probably going to be Christian, RVD, definitely Kurt Angle. Now my two bonus people, guys, uh, are going to be kind of weird. You know, it's kind of out there. One is Mark Henry. The reason I think Mark Henry is because Big Show's over there. Also, Mark Henry said he wants to have one more match with WWE. But could that be AEW? And then just, you know, I feel like AEW, for some reason, wants to pick up all the old-time WWE guys. I'm not saying Mark Henry is old. I'm saying he's the older, you know, last generation. And AEW, for some reason, they claim they're about the new guys, but they're bringing in all these past legends. So... Some, it's a reason why TNA failed. It's a reason why WCW failed. I, I don't agree with it. I think they need to focus on their Sammy Guevara's, their uh, RB, uh, RB, you know, the guy with Sting. And you're just the Young Bucks, Cody, Kenny. They need to focus on them. Stop. Don't have Sting wrestle. Don't have Arn Anderson there or Jake Roberts there or Big Show there or Kurt Angle there. It's cool they have jobs, but I just, AEW said they were all about the future and they're just bringing in legends but it's whatever and then my last one is tommy dreamer i think tommy dreamer just because i don't know just my gut says could be tommy dreamer so those are seven i think five six, seven uh people who i think could be it let me know what you guys think down below smash the subscribe button smash the thumbs up button down below and hopefully i can see you guys tonight with my reaction if not i'll probably make a video just talking about it but yeah i'll see you guys later peace